Good morning from day number two here at Europa Park in Germany. And yeah, it looks like we're in for a bit of a wet one today, doesn't it? Oh, he's chucking it down today. Charlotte's got a poncho on just there. I am, I'm prepared. Oh, I've got my waterproof shoes on, but you know what? We're just going to go for it, make the best of it. And it does mean it will be quieter here today. And we've got lots more to check out for their Halloween. We're going to be seeing the ice show today. That's Vampire Circus. We're going to be able to film the show, so we're looking forward to that. Oh, I always love an ice show. Oh, it's one of our favourites. Along with that too, we'll check out more of the decorations around the park, spooky rides and attractions, and so much more. And if you haven't already, make sure you check out our day one vlog here from Halloween at Europa Park. Yeah, we had a good ball round, got loads of rising yesterday. We saw the Halloween parade, lots of other decorations around the park, and so much more. But yeah, we just got to deal with this lovely weather today. <laughs> more like October weather this. And because it's raining this morning, we're gonna start off our day with a ride on Piccolo Mondo, down here by the entrance of the park in the Italian themed area. And yeah, there's a small little family dark ride with a quaint charm about it. Hey, and there he is on the back of the ride. <laughs> Let's go for a tour around Italy. family dark ride that is and it's one of the best soundtracks on the park as well we love that don't we just so catchy isn't it oh, i really like it i'm not so sure where the pig fits in going in the mud but i do like it <laughs> it's a good ride always makes you want an ice cream even on a wet day at the end there Lovely. nice pleasure beach poncho from charlotte yeah, soaked already oh no and yeah you've just seen the uh, lovely fountain show down here in France. We were gonna go on Silver Star this morning, but uh, yeah, it is throwing it down. We don't really wanna get that wet now. We will do it later though. Um, yeah, it's not great at the moment for riding on a B&M hypercoaster. <laughs> we'll wait for it to clear up. And of course we can film on ride here. So we take you on and yeah, all you'd see is rain droplets on the GoPro. <laughs> Made our way over to England now. And here's to London. We're gonna have a ride on the crazy taxi just here. Yes, yeah, so quite a few of the rides are undercover like this one, which is great on a rainy day. And of course, with them having quite a large collection of dark rides, it's really good too. We are much quieter today. Probably why it was busier than we were expecting yesterday for a Monday. People came because they knew it was going to be poor weather today. Taxi, taxi please. <laughs> Where's Charlotte? I can't even see her. Where's she gone? She got others oh, there. <laughs> Ta taxi for Charlotte. Hey. Da, 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 da. Hey, you got a little London bus ride next door as well. <laughs> hey, taxi please, taxi. I like these little demolition derby attractions. Yeah, look at it out there. <laughs> then we're going to do uh, the spinning dragons down in Ireland next. Another undercover flight ride. Weather is supposed to pick up after lunch. And yeah, we're going to be watching the ice show at 12 o'clock. Maybe after that, it's going to look better this afternoon. But we definitely get on Silver Star. If it's still raining later, we'll just go for it. <laughs> Woo! Nice ride there on the crazy taxis here in London, England. And yeah, we're now on the train just here. We'll have a little ride around the park. Oh, you got some Pringles over there, Charlotte. Got a nice little morning snack for you. <laughs> Yeah, nice another cover here. We did both the monorails yesterday, so we thought, let's go on the train this morning, have a lap round. Nice and undercover. Make our way through the forest just there.
Oh, I do enjoy a ride round here on the train. There's fuel rafting, can't see many boats on there today. Would like to do the rapids, but with this weather, I'm not too sure if we'll go on, we'll see. How are that? <laughs> Pumpkins. Pumpkins everywhere. Here at Europa Park Halloween. So you've got four different train stations here on the Panorama Bar. It's a great way of getting around the park. With it being a big park as well, yeah, transportation is key. Much quieter here today. Yeah, I can see the bar closing at 6 o'clock, the actual advertised time. Like we said yesterday, it got extended by two hours till 8 o'clock because of the crowd levels. You always announce the updated close time at 2 o'clock if it is going to be extended. But yeah, it's probably going to be a 6 today. So I'm glad we got to see the park in the dark yesterday. Passengers leaving the train should exit. More awesome Halloween decorations around the park. There's pumpkins everywhere. And yeah, also you got some spiders. Pumpkin men and women as well. It's a really cool vital ops. And lots of sweet corn as well. Look at those ones coming out of the grass. <laughs> we saw loads of sweet corn at the other end of the park yesterday. We got some down here too. A lot of it looks that good. It's like permanent theming, but no, it's just here for the spooky season. We've got some massive pumpkins coming up just down here. Oh wow. Old timer fart just there. Coming to the park, you've never done it before, you get yourself an old timer fart. <laughs> wow. Look at those big ones. Love the little band there as well. Look over towards Ireland there as well, the main family area with lots of attractions for younger visitors. It looks like the rain's getting even worse. <laughs> but yeah, we've done a full lap round, including the four stops in the stations. It probably takes about 20 minutes to do a full lap round on the Panorama Barn just here. Oh, I do enjoy a ride round there on the Panorama Barn. And yeah, also you've got a special version of Queen's Diamonds, which is the laser maze here in England. And it is Queen's Diamonds, the curse of Baron Williams. And it has a throwback to an old attraction that used to be here on the right hand side, where you've got the crazy taxis now and the London bus. Yeah, there used to be like a walkthrough attraction. I never did it because it was removed way before I first visited. But it's a little throwback with Baron Williams. We thought we'd have a little stroll through Ireland here. We went on the dancing dinghy down here yesterday, which is an undercover flat ride. We have got another just here, and that is Spinning Dragon. See how we're going to have a ride on here now. Why not? <laughs> A big blue Pleasure Beach poncho. <laughs> They're getting quite fast these do. Oh! Woo! Got them out of the most of the undercover rides. Hey! It's a bit like a sizzler, but not as fast. <laughs> it's a good ride though. Nice soundtrack on this as well. Yeah, probably go into Arena of Football next, which is the Dodgems, that's undercover. We've got a small little dark ride to get on. 
just around the corner from there. And they'll be coming up to the ice show soon. Looking forward to that. 12 o'clock showing. Hey. Spinning dragons here in Ireland. Woo! I like how all the dragons are pulling different faces as well. Mine's sticking his tongue out. <laughs> Right there on spinning dragons, and yeah, we've brought back around here into the England area now for Arena of Football. Actually, the official name is Football Scooter, but yeah, Arena of Football is the building itself. Yeah, because you've got an eatery just around the back. And yeah, the aim of the game is to use this gym ball down here and to get it into the goal either on that side or on the left. And yeah, you've actually got a sensor on either side as well. It does like all fancy lighting and sound effects when somebody gets the ball into the goal. All right, let's go on. And here we go on Jim Ball, Charlotte Steer, and we're coming together. <laughs> we're going to try and find it now. Where is it? Oh, it's over there. We've got to try and get a goal. Look at the uh, Halloween balloons in here. Yeah, they love doing these like balloon decorations. Got the mix between spiders, witches, hats, pumpkins. Really nice. Oh, there it is, the Jim Ball. Ooh. We came on this the other day, and the Jim Ball was out of action. I think it's been replaced. Looks a bit deflated previously. Look at these pumpkins made out of balloons. Oh no, on this day inflated for the Halloween season. Oh, now's our chance, Charlotte. Here we go, we can get it. We got it, we got it. Hey, oh, Jimbo. And he's getting that goal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. hey, oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, they've got a cafe and stuff in here as well. Like I said, there is plenty of things to do when the rains come in. the most of it so many indoor attractions have you seen that right yesterday and of course this morning even a lot of your flat rides you know they've got covered queue lines really well designed we need a bit more of that back home where's the gym ball go there it is i'm struggling to get to it i know what a lovely gym ball everyone's fighting over it <laughs> oh <Whoa. laughs> there it is so much fun can you imagine gym ball dodging was back home Somebody got a goal. <laughs> yeah, that's nice and spooky in there. Oh, we got no chance. He's a good player over there. Oh, it's always really good fun, that is. And what are you doing, Charlotte? Oh, I've got to come out of a Halloween movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, what was that, then? <laughs> Looking forward to the ice show shortly. Oh, I really like seeing an ice show, so I can't wait for it. Yeah, it's nice that you can film it now. It's like you never used to be able to film any of the indoor shows at Europa Park. I mean, yeah, it's still the case with a couple of them, but the ice show, you can now film. So we're looking forward to that. It's going to be very spooky. And that's coming up shortly. Well, first, we're going to go on the little dark ride just over here. It's an older one, this. It's Snicklefast Snicklefucking. I think that's how you pronounce it. So, what are you laughing at? Like, like, look at the sign over here. You have a go. Like, I always try this. Sn Snicklefar, Snicklefucking. Snicklefucking. That's how it is, isn't it? There you go. Snicklefar, Snicklefucking. Let's go and have our ride. Look at this ride. You sit on a park bench, as you can see just there. <laughs> There's a little slide. Can I have our ride? Merry Christmas, everybody! I mean, it's nearly Halloween, but you know what? Let's go on the Christmas ride just here. <laughs> it always reminds me of, like, you know, when you go to your local garden centre and you see, like, all the displays? I mean, granted, they don't have a dark ride system, but still, like, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it remind me of Christmas at your garden centre. On our wonderful Santa sleigh just here. I mean, it's very cute, but it just needs updated. Yeah, it is very old school. That's the thing. There's a few old school kind of dark rides here at Europa Park. They have got a lot of charm to them, though. But I'm sure in the long term kind of vision for the park, stuff like this will either get rethemed or replaced. I can't see them fully removing the ride system, though, because they don't really like removing stuff here. They normally retheme and upgrade. What is that? What is going on? <laughs> and this is the wonder of Snickle Fast, Snickle Fucken just here. <laughs> Gotta be careful how you say that one, especially the, the last word. <laughs> nice snowballs. Have a good Christmas. See you soon. I don't know what he's supposed to be, but it fits in with the creepy Halloween vibe. <laughs> Oh, what a lovely day here in Rust, Germany. Our final day here at Europa Park. Oh, you all right there? 
You're not getting wet though, are you? He's all right. Got some sad news. My umbrella has just broke. It snapped. <laughs> There's no saving that umbrella. Yeah, it wasn't the wind or anything. It literally just broke. So yeah, I'm now without an umbrella, but we'll just go with it anyway. Uh, but yeah, in terms of the ride we've just done, snickle fast, snickle fucking, <laughs> I do think we're going to be seeing some changes to that in the future. And yeah, with the park saying in the next few years, there's going to be changes to Euromere right next door, the spinning coaster. Of course, we went on yesterday. Then yeah, they might do that at the same time and keep completely update this Russian area. Right then, so the time has come to watch a show. And yeah, we're going to go and check out the ice show. It's Vampire Circus. And yeah, like I said a few minutes ago, we're going to be able to film this. So I'll put in some highlights for you over the next few minutes. Yeah, we really enjoy the entertainment here at Europa Park. We saw an awesome illusion show yesterday. Sadly, we couldn't film that one, uh, but we're excited to show you all Vampire Circus. <laughs>
some highlights there from Vampire Circus. And I've got to say, that in my opinion, is the best ice show Europa Park have had in a few years there. I really enjoyed that. And being on the front row, being so close to the ice made it even better. Yeah, we got there about 30 minutes prior to showtime to get down to the front. We knew it was going to get busy today with it being poor weather. And yeah, that was awesome. It's an international cast of skaters from around the world, including six from the UK as well. There's not normally that many Brits in there. Yeah, it was good. And along with that, some great moves in there, some somersaults, headbangers, always great to see. Oh, the headbanger in there was brilliant. She was so close to the ice. Probably the best one I've seen in person, like literally centimetres away really from the ice. Fantastic. And yeah, the music and storyline was really good, the lighting, the effects, and it's great how you can film it now as well. Instead of just having to explain it after, showing you the actual production was really good. We love ice shows. Uh, we love hot ice back oh. in the UK at Pleasure Beach. So we always make time to see ice shows when we come to the parks. And uh, yeah, that was really good. Nice production. And uh, at the end, I thought it was a nice kind of finale um, with the kind of curtains dropping down and it turning into a circus tent and it lifted up to kind of reveal them all at the end. Yeah, it was a really nice production. Definitely a lot better than the circus that we saw for Traumatica. Uh, no, it was a great show. Continuing on then with our afternoon here at Europa Park and we're back here in the French themed area now and the good news is the rain has stopped yet yeah, it's time to clear up nicely perfect for a quiet ride on Silver Star. Is it? It's punchy off now. Hey! Yeah it's only a 15 minute wait that's the thing with the weather being poor this morning it's cleared it up nicely for us this afternoon for getting some quiet rides in. So let's go and ride the park's B&M Hyper Coaster. Silver Star. 15 minutes. Hey! <laughs> Team Silver Star. We're off. <laughs> oh, only waited about 10 minutes there. We're right here on the BLM Hyper. Love the staff on here, the big fans of the channel. <laughs> hey, let's go. Three train service. One of the best operated coaches in the world, this is like really well operated. And yeah, the rain stopped for us as well. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> hey, nice clamshell restraints too. And yeah, I mentioned this in the day one vlog. This gives you a bit of an idea on how high Hyperia is going to be at Thorpe Bar next year. So yeah, this is only three foot taller, so really hardly any difference. Obviously, this is a B&M and that's a Mac. Quite funny really, isn't it? And they're at Max Park. But um, yeah, looking forward to get riding this. As always, and we'll get some great views. Over Rust, all the mountains over there. And over into France as well. Yeah, it's France is literally just over there, right on the French border. Let's go! Whoa! Silver Star! Hey! Woo! Camp Resort down there! Whoa! Hyper, hyper! Woo! Silver Star! coaster <laughs> Awesome ride there on Silver Star. Top speeds of 78 miles an hour. We love a good hyper, don't we? Silver Star is my favorite coach at the park. The airtime on there is just brilliant. It's awesome. It's the latter part of the layout that's actually better in my opinion. The first drop is weaker for a BM hyper. I imagine when it opened in 2002, it was a very impressive drop. But of course, there's much better hypers out there now for the drops. However, it's the latter part of the layout after the mid-course brake run uh, that really gives you ejector airtime. Phenomenal ride. Operations are always great on there. He's got one of the best operated coasts in the world. And big shout out to all the team on there as oh, well. Oh, you do such a great job. Oh, amazing. But yeah, it's cleared up quite nice now this afternoon. Right, guys, it's going to be seven o'clock today. Cheeky one hour extension. Oh, I love that. I love it when they announce it at two o'clock. It's like, oh, here we go. You're looking on the app. What time is it going to be today? Long to Switzerland on this lovely afternoon. I do like this part of the park. It's very charming and quaint. And you actually come up these steps and get some views. Looking out over Schweizer Barbarn as well. Just up here, there you go. There's some nice views, there's the goats. Hey, the little mountain. There's some good bits of theming around here. Yeah, probably gonna have a ride on here next. Now the weather's all right, why not? It's the fact it's such a tight little street that makes this down here for me. You got the stream running down the middle. I'd like to explore more of real Switzerland in the future. Oh, look at his pumpkin. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's quite funny, isn't it? <laughs> lint shop down here as well, and there's the lint bunny. Yeah, we're going Schweizer Bob on. We've waited about 10 minutes for Schweizer Bob on just here. The original Bonsai ride. It hasn't got the most exciting layouts, this one, but the area around it is lovely. Like I showed you just down there, all the Swiss buildings. It's a nice little street, it's kind of off the main track as well. How lovely is this down here? All the wooden buildings, very quaint. Matt Horn Blitz about on the dot last night. Hey, nothing, <laughs> absolutely nothing. Woo. Here we go. Hey. We go try and spot the goat as we head down. Whoa! I don't mean the greatest of all time. Hey. Into the helix, helix, helix. Woo! There he is. Hey. <laughs> Woo! Very smooth. He's got the longest run off ever at the end. He gets all these buildings. You get some nice views. There's the planes. All the gorgeous buildings that make up Europa Park. Nice little tour around. That's Pfizer Bob on. Keeps on going. <laughs> what a run off. It was the prototype, so I let it off. But yeah, it's not the most exciting Schweizer Bob on. But still, it was worth going on with a short wait there, wasn't it, really? I think that shook me into next week with how rattly it was. <laughs> it was a bit rattly. <laughs> it was. It was vibrating so much on the back. Could maybe do with some retracking in the Definitely. future. And if they retract that, I'd like to see them actually add something more to the layout yeah, as well. it's just a bit plain, isn't it? Yeah, it is. We've come back over here into uh, Ireland now. You've got old McDonald's truck to ride, loads of rides with the kids around here. And you've got the little junior coaster and there's no wait for it. So we'll take you on the Bar Express. And off we go on the Bar Express. May as well make the most of a walk-on ride on the park's smallest coaster. I like how Eddie Oramouse is coming out of the chimney at the front of the train on this one. Some nice rocks as well. And here we go. Whee! Yeah, the same layout as Duplo Dino Coaster at Legoland Windsor. This one's a bit better theme though. <laughs> we got a few laps round, walk on ride. Yeah, we're making our way down to Arthur next. Mac powered suspended coaster. Dark ride scenes and outdoor sections. Yeah, it's really good. Here we go. Whee! That's a little junior coaster. We'll see you when we come off the Bar Express. <laughs> After our ride there on the Bar Express, we've made our way down here to the Minimoys Kingdom. Ready for a ride on Arthur. Here it is. One of the best family coasts in the world, in my opinion. Dark ride with these outdoor scenes. It comes over the beautiful River Elves just here as well. And it's a really nice setting for this indoor and outdoor powered coaster. It's got onboard sound, onboard lights, really good loading system with it being a conveyor belt. And it's an award winner in the past as well, Arthur. As you can see, 2016 world's best ride. It certainly is an excellent attraction. There it goes. Yeah, I love this big atrium in here. You've got the poppy towers, you've got the mall mall carousel, a few flats, and then the main events. Play area just over here. Lovely indoor area. 25 minute for Arthur, but it has got a single rider queue. And yeah, it's quite a bit of a secret this one because it's inside the main entrance, hidden off to the left. It really gets a big weight. So yeah, we'll go on Arthur single. Why not? When you come down the single rider, you get an even better view of the station in here as well. Down the spiral staircase, look at the ride system. Incredible. Arthur, let's go and ride. And we did a nice five minute wait there. Single rider, let's go. Really nice to see the Mist Effect working again down here. Not seen it on for quite a while. Makes it a lot more mysterious here at the start of the ride. Hey, upward spinning helix. <laughs> the 
is a big up for the best on the GoPro this bit. Yeah, there's all rocks and lighting. Paradise Alley. All the lighting down here is really cool. Oh no, watch out for the rat. <laughs> Into that main atrium. Look at this. There's the flats. Woo! It's actually pretty high in here. You've got to be what, maybe 40, 50 feet over the ground? Wow. What a show coaster. above us Arthur is an incredible ride it's a real crowd please did you enjoy it oh the theming in there is just so good I have a huge smile on my face whenever I ride that yeah there's so many scenes on there that I love my favorite though has got to be that kind of grand atrium when you come out and you're looking down you're actually quite high in there uh, but it's really nice and also coming out over the water here really makes it it's a stunning ride and there's still only a few of this style of ride in the world there's only three out there I've done two of them you got this one the one at Motion Gate Dubai and also you've got a Jurassic Park theme one that I'd love to do over at Universal Studios Beijing. Well, it's Jurassic World theme, but I'd really like to do that in the future. I still wish more parks I'd get one of these. They're really good from a capacity point of view as well. Uh, trains are constantly going round. I mean, look, there's another one coming round. Like, amazing. Love that ride. Love the little forest they've got here. All the interactives. I quite like these faces. They're a bit creepy though, aren't they, at the side? That's not really sweet music, that Charlotte. You're supposed to do it in that order. Follow the book, follow the book. <laughs> there is also the little goat round here. Here he is. Are you alright? What? What's that? Oh, are you okay? I think he said, Charlotte, you need to go on some water rides because the weather's cleared up. I don't think so, goatee. Is that what you said? Are you sure he said that? Oh, I wanted to go here, yeah, yeah, then. Oh, you didn't go <laughs> Hey! Yes, water ride. Oh, it's so much quieter here at Europa Park today. And yeah, here's a look at some more of the wonderful Halloween theming. We've got a big witch over here, made out of bales. And yeah, pumpkins everywhere. And look at this massive spider. Like, how they've done this is awesome. So we showed you that other spider yesterday. But yeah, this one looks like it's like a mesh framework. And they've kind of put all the straw on the side and that looks really good and then they've used one of my favorite shaped pumpkins over there to do his nose and he's got his big googly eyes there as well how nice is that charlotte that's really nice it's like his nose is a butternut squash yeah, a butternut squash. butternut squash that's just home when you have a spider like this it's home like he's massive 
Right then, let's make the most of the sunshine in this afternoon. Some quiet queues. Have a ride on Atlantica Super Splash just here now. Another Mack water coaster. You don't get too wet on this. Very well themed queue line this. You got all the cannons and cannon balls around here too. Let's get our ride on Atlantica. Gets very busy in the summer this one. But yeah, you don't get too wet on here. We're on row three. And yeah, there's Castillo Alcazar over there. Gorgeous hotel. And yeah, if you fancy a nice drink with a great view, head to the Buena Vista Club. It's open on peak nights. Yeah, that's the little bar just on the right hand side there. Looks out over the park. Coliseo over there as well. The hotel's stunning here at Europa Park. But yeah, we come on to the little turntable here now. Ready for a spin. And a bit of a backward drop. What a beautiful view. Looking out over the park. Here we go. Whee. No splash at the bottom of this one. Oh. Great views of Odin down there. Like a super splash. I can see uh, loads of Christmas decorations in that tent ready to go out. Onto the turntable again, but it's like, look at this, they must paint it like every winter. It looks really fresh, we're near the end of the season, and look how fresh it still looks. Gorgeous. Bow down. Shame they've had to put the sound barriers around the top there. A new addition for this year. Great view of Iceland, and here we go. Whoa! Atlantic Heart. Oh, it just flew down. <laughs> Woo! Oh! <laughs> Lovely. And yeah, you're looking, I think you're going to get soaked, but actually, as you can see, it's just a few droplets, or as I like to say, just a light sprinkle there. Are you okay? My hood flew down. I can't see him there, Charlotte. Where are you? My hood flew down. Oh, there she is. <laughs> that was good. All right there on Atlantica Super Splash, and yeah, from off-ride, it does look like you're going to get pretty wet on there. And you can do on the front. Yeah, normally, it's not really that much of a soaker. Very impressive there. It always looks so nice and clean and fresh. Great ride, I think we're gonna head on to the old rafting now, the rapids. Maybe the Vinjammer actually on the way around, not been on that for a while. Hey, here we go then on Vinjammer. Nice pirate ship. And yeah, it's probably the best operated swinging ship out there, this one. I mean, operations are great at Europa Park anyway. Yeah, with this, it's got air gates on this side, and you offload on the other side. And yeah, it's just really quick. Literally, the boat was parked up for about 30 seconds and it was off again. Like, no messing about. Which is really good. Swing's pretty high, this one. Here in the Scandinavia themed area. For the flat rides. We're going to make our way onto the rapids next. Fjord rafting. Hey! Do love a good swinging ship. Whoa! There you go, look, literally just walked over here from the exit and it's going again, no messing around, great operations. And yeah, continuing on here in Scandinavia now with Fjord Rafting. I do love this part of the park. Yeah, all these buildings were redone after the fire that destroyed Pirate and Batavia and also the Scandinavian streets, it was completely rebuilt. And they also added a dark ride, Snorri Torin. Well, it's actually built, see where all these um, rocks are here? Snorri Torin is in that bottom section all down there, like fascinating. We'll go on that afterwards. After going on, fuel rafting! Oh no! Good news is, Charlotte, the clouds are coming in now yeah, as well. They are. I've got my poncho on. You have Mr. Funshine's down here at the back as well. I'm sure we're going to see Funshine again soon before the end of the season as well. I can't believe when we get back from this trip, it literally will be near the end of the theme park season. That's a fuel restaurant over there that looks over the trough, which is very nice. All these buildings are so well detailed. Can't wait to see Croatia. And the next time we step in this park will be for when Voltron opens. Fingers crossed to be here on opening day. If it doesn't uh, kind of coincide with Hyperia back at Thorpe Park or Nemesis or any of the new additions back home, we'll definitely be here for opening day for Voltron. Probably expected to be March, but yeah, hopefully it doesn't clash with anything else. You know, it's a quiet day at Europa Park when you get a boat to yourself on fjord rafting when there's only two of you normally they pack the boats full on this it's all about capacity and throughputs but it's really quiet today so we got our own look at you there charlotte 
What are you got going on under here? Oh, the old rust is. It's cool this because you go over the pathway that leads down to Blue Fire at the Veltler Trough on the top, little tunnel. It's quite cool. And good feeling. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever had a boat uh, like ourselves on here. And normally you're packed in quite whoa! <laughs> quite a bit. <laughs> Big waterfalls. Woo! In a way though, I don't mind it when they pack the boats or when it's busy. It stops you waiting ages, you know. You might get ya. Oh, we're safe. We're all right. If we'd have sat there, it'd have got us. You don't know where all the trolls. Look at him there, smiling. Oh, but the feeling's great all around there. It's so nice. It looks like it's going to rain. It does look like it's going to rain, but this will be your last water ride of the day here, so. <laughs> you don't get that wet on these water rides, though. And you don't want to. I mean, we are in Germany, after all. You know, it's not like we're in a hot country. So it's just nice levels of wetness, really. Okay. Oh, I couldn't see it then, Charlotte. If you're gonna get wet, it's always on this one bit down here. Yeah. <laughs> this is where it can get quite choppy down here. Yeah, in the summer they have an effect activated down here, but look at the wave machines on this. Look at them waves. Uh, yeah, in the summer they have this effect going, but yeah, I don't think it's on at this time of year, just so people don't get wet. Whoa! <laughs> Nice fish there. Come down to my fish market. Yeah, we'll go on Snorri touring next. That's all based around Snorri and all the uh, characters that you see up in Rulantico. And yeah, it's literally there underneath. Very clever. I think that's the fire exit door that you see when you're on the ride. Yeah, it spans all underneath us. Very good use of space, Snorri touring. Nice buildings. Got a lot here. No, we've not. Well, there's not much weight in the boat with two of us, is there? But whoa! Hey, look at the waves on this. That's the train that we were on earlier. Oh my God! Look, oh, look at the size of these waves coming in. On. Which effect? That big effect? How is it? Oh no, she might get us if she's got any credits left. Oh no, you can get quite a big blast here. Is, is she going to get us? Please, don't do it to us. I think we're safe. She's waiting for family, I think. Big finale with the waterfalls just there. The old raft in it is a great rapids. Look at these beauties. Woo! There we go. What a great cracking rapids that was. Been jammed us there as well. Enjoyed that. One of my favorite rapids out there, that. There's so much going on theming wise. And yeah, the tunnel's really nice, all the fiber optics as well. Didn't need my poncho, didn't really get wet on that. Oh, there you go, Charlotte's loving the water rise now. I wouldn't say loving them, <laughs> but I didn't get wet, so I'm okay. I'll tell you what I do love though, and that's the Scandinavian street just here. Yeah, this is really nice. And like I mentioned, just you've got the dark ride, Snorri Touring, and that's actually built right underneath where we're standing now. So yeah, the entrance is just over here. There's so many quirky, like, hidden rides. Yeah, literally the entrance right there. That's the only reference to it that you'll see. So yeah, let's make our way onto Snorri Touring. Oh, about a five minute wait. This wonderful little dark ride. They did such a good job with a very small space in here. And yeah, we're not actually visiting Rulantica this time because we only visited back in the summer. Yeah, check out our vlog from Rulantica back in August with on slide POVs. Now, you can take as many videos as you want to on the rides at Europa Park. However, you've got to make sure you don't do one thing, and that's flash the mermaids. Let's go on. In we go. Wait about five minutes, they're snoring. job of this because as we mentioned it's built kind of in the basement underneath the area and yeah they utilize screens and props on the ceiling to make you feel like the scenes are much bigger than they actually are
into the little video dome now. dark ride that is lots of great scenes in there and the soundtrack's fantastic too isn't it that is just a great use of space for what's in there yeah it was a really nice addition when they redid scandinavia and it also helps promote the water park rulantica i think snorri and all the characters are really good and yeah it does make the water park one of the best water parks in the world and we definitely recommend a visit and like i say check out our vlog from august where we took you around and also i uh, tried out the new slides in there really good the racing body slides absolutely fantastic Oh, we've got the big shark down here as well. It's a great photo opportunity. You ready, viewers? We're going to get eaten by sharks. No! <laughs> Dramatic. Um, we're just going to make our way back around here into Holland because we've got another Halloween ride to check out. The last sky is going a bit dark now. We have only got a couple of hours left of our time here at Europa Park. Yeah, here it is, the coffee cups actually turned into a Halloween version. They black out all the windows just here and inside it's really dark, all lighting effects and smoke and you can hear the soundtrack. Let's go on. Oh, so it all starts off like a normal ride then the lights come on. The smoke should come on in a second and we get a spooky dark ride on the coffee cups. Yeah, normally all the windows are open. They actually do a Christmas version as well. And here we go. And you get this Halloween song that plays a lot of plates around the park at Halloween. It's Halloween. <laughs> hey! Spooky. Is she going to give us some smoke? Oh! The bag's rolling about. <laughs> hey! I like this. It's a little touch of. And you got some pictures on the wall of the scary season. Hey! This is a nice little touch. Oh! Woo! It's like a rap rock song. Right across the park! <laughs> Woo! It's Halloween, it's Halloween, it's Halloween! Woo. These little touches like this though that sets you over park apart for me. It's Halloween, it's Halloween. It's Halloween. Oh, you've all got new me. Have I? Waiting for the storm. Halloween ride. Oh, and look at it. We just come off the coffee cups and it is throwing it down. Looks like we timed it really well, though, doing the outdoor rides like Silver Stogs. Yeah, this could be in for the rest of the day now. Charlotte's got a poncho back oh, on. This is heavy. This is now. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's cold as well now. Oh, well, it was quite the rain shower that, so we took a bit of shelter, had something to eat. And yeah, we're going on Fluke de Cassandra here now, which is the Mac Rides Madhouse. Some on-ride footage there from Flug de Cassandra. And yeah, I really like the soundtrack on there and also the special effects built into the seats, which is pretty cool. You us here now in the little Voltron preview center. And yeah, look at this, some new concept images on the wall since last time we were here. And next time we're here at Europa Park, we're gonna be riding this. Yeah, hoping to be here for opening day as long as it doesn't really clash with anything back home. We're gonna be out here for this because it's my most anticipated ride of 2024 and I'm really looking forward to it. And yeah, look at all these concepts. Beautiful Croatia. And whilst we've been here at Europa Park, we also saw Voltron 4D. Um, well worth watching if you are coming here to the park because um, it's all the backstory behind the ride and the main man, Nikola Tesla, just there. And yeah, of course, we can have a little look at the construction through these preview windows over here too. And yeah, there's an amazing model of the coaster and yeah it's fully constructed now in terms of the track 
however they're working on the themed area all underneath here. And yeah, I'm sure we'll see videos of the testing this winter. And when next time we're at this park, we'll be riding it. So excited for this coaster. It's gonna be an absolute beast, look at it. It's gonna be amazing. And yeah, you've got two of the Tesla towers. One's already installed down at the bottom and you've got this one still to go in. Now you can't see through the windows as well because of the rain. However, yeah, from this angle, you get a great view of the themed area starting to come together. And yeah, you've got all the pathways underneath. You've got some kind of near miss elements for the ride. And yeah, this building that's going in here. And yeah, they've said you're gonna be able to walk up to the top there, which is gonna be really nice. Look at all the details going into that building. Yeah, like all the sides, it looks awesome. Really excited to give it a ride. Shame that's there, isn't it? <laughs> Blocking the view a little bit. Yeah, there's that first Tesla tower. Of course, it has got the vertical launch there, beyond vertical launch. It passes up and then the Tesla tower just there. And yeah, you've got the queue line and station, which is gonna be in there. And the full themed area of Croatia to look forward to. And here's another great view. Looking down over the coaster itself, you can see the inversions, the airtime hills. And yeah, another archway going in there as part of the themed area of Croatia. Really excited for this next year. And just the fact that next time we're gonna be here at this park, we're gonna be riding it. Wow, and there it is, one final time here on Theme Park Worldwide before we're here to ride it and I am so excited for this coaster. 2024 is gonna be an amazing year for the theme park industry, both back in the UK and throughout the world. There's so many rides that are gonna be opening next year, but this really is the one that I'm most excited I for. I am so excited for this. The backstory with Voltron is just fantastic. It's been filmed so well. It has Nikola Tesla and the Croatia area. That's the thing, it's not just the coaster, wow. it's a full themed area. And yeah, next time we're here, um, we're gonna be standing right in the middle of the area. All this, what you see, is just temporary like all this is going to be coming out and uh, yeah there's going to be a full new area there's going to be new food offerings you can see some of the other buildings that are going in and yeah you can already see foundations the other side of this fence uh, ready for this new part of the park and I'm sure that it's going to be one of the best parts of Europa Park um, because everything they do is a really high quality now and I'm really looking forward to it it's Voltron it's opening next year I expect it opening in March but still not officially confirmed however I'm really really hoping we can be down here for the opening day because yeah, I am so excited to get on that beyond vertical launch. Look at it, it's Voltron. It's opening next year from Mac Rides. Oh, look at that sky tonight, it is gorgeous. You wouldn't think it had just been raining, but yeah, look at this, really nice. We walked through the Scandinavian themed area, last 30 minutes of the day. And yeah, gonna get our last couple of rides in on Blue Fire and Roland Timber Coaster. What a trip. Oh, look at that sky tonight. The perfect scene to end our time here at Europa Park. 15 minute wait for Blue Fire. We'll jump on this and then straight into Woden's queue. Perfect. We're down here right at the back. We waited 15 minutes. So I'll take you on for another POV. Pretty dark out there now. Love it down here at the back. You get close to these rocks now. Woo! Oh, what a gorgeous ride. Woo! Warms up beautifully throughout the day. Here we go. Way! Woo! Good. Look at them operations as well. Fantastic. One awesome ride there on Blue Fire down at the back. Brilliant coaster and yeah, really paved the way for the Mac rides of the future. Making our way now to our final ride here at Europa Park this trip. And yeah, after three wonderful visits over the past 12 months, we've had many on Woden. I love this coaster so much. So on a 10 minute wait. Yeah, you have also got a very small Halloween walkthrough here to the right, and yeah, I thought we'll save it until it gets a bit darker. So we'll just show you this. I think we can film through it. Well, I'm below, it's a bit like a scare zone. 
<laughs> There's a little water here in Iceland. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what are you filming? <laughs> Oh! <laughs> so they used to do a little walkthrough like this down in the England area, and they moved it up here to Iceland. Just a little bit of fun, like I say, nothing too much because the main horror event is Traumatica, and that's how it's kind of outside the park in its own area. Check out the vlog if you haven't already seen it. I wasn't expecting to just go hello then, were you? <laughs> oh, I can't see anything in there, it's so smoky. <laughs> it's quite spooky actually. I don't know, it's just fun for families. I don't know where you're going, Charlotte. I can't see you. It's like a family walkthrough, it's quite scary this. I can see nothing in there, like as you saw on the camera, just like that blue kind of strip light and all the smoke. <laughs> oh, we got one more scene to go through here by the looks of it. Let's go through. Oh, it's strobing in there, flashing lights. Behind me. God, there's, oh! So much smoke. Pretty good wall through that. It's a little bit better and longer than when they did it down in the England area. There you go, yeah, you can just queue up out the front here. It doesn't really get much of a weight. And you walk straight through. Right then, time for our final ride here at Europa Park. It's Volden Timber Coaster. Still my favorite queue line in the park, this. Will that change though with Voltron? Certainly possible. And I do like this. It's all the kind of rugged terrain throughout here. All the crystals. Yeah, it's very cool. Still amazes me how they build these wooden coasters. What a structure. Well, there's only one place to have our final ride here at Europa Park. The back row of Woden Timber Coaster. Let's go. Look at this. I know we've been here a lot over the years now, but yeah, 10 years of coming here, it still makes me really emotional when I have my last ride at Europa Park. It really oh, does. Oh no, this view is stunning. Yeah, look at that. Looking out over the park. It just excites me so much now we've got a whole new themed area to enjoy next time we come here to this park really is my favorite in the world and just the variety of attractions here and the quality when they do stuff it's always 99 percent you know amazing let's go it should be flying now especially with the rain let's go control uh, what a way to end the visit oh breathless you come into the break run there every time epic woody one of the best all right footage there from woden timber coaster at night and i can't believe what just happened we ended up having four rides there on woden there was no queue and they just kept sending us at the end of the night there didn't they huge shout out to team woden there thank you so much it's them little moments like that that really make it and even after the queue had cleared at the end way after ride closed by 10 minutes and they sent us again which is amazing we're all chanting some little moments that keep me coming back here to europa park we've had a great few days here i hope you've enjoyed both the vlogs we've filmed it's always a pleasure coming back to this park and bringing content to you all we love it here don't we i love europa park i'm always so sad when i have to leave it's the variety of attractions that makes it for me. Yes, things are of a high quality, but there's so much here to do as well. It's the themed areas, it's the full offering, the entertainment, and yeah, just overall, the atmosphere. It's been great seeing Halloween. Of course, your first time at this time of year. There has been so many pumpkins. I cannot believe how many pumpkins I've seen. Yeah, the decorations are awesome for Halloween. Like I said yesterday, I do miss the big pumpkin on Eurosat, um, but still, there's lots going on. The parade was great yesterday, the ice show, the illusion show that we couldn't film, but that was amazing. And just 
overall, the spooky vibes are great around the park. I like the little Halloween rides and overlays that they do. And overall, it's a great time of year to come. And check out that vlog from Traumatica if you haven't already seen it. And yeah, we've got loads of rides in, but I think for me, Woden just takes it there oh, tonight. I love Woden. We have done so much. Yeah, it's been great. And it has been busy. However, the operations here are that good. There's that many rides um, for people to go on. It really spreads the queues. And we've had some great extensions. Uh, we've had some eight o'clock closes tonight. It's been a seven. It really didn't need to be, but the extended, and that's what really makes it here at Europa Park. The next time we're here will be for the opening uh, of Voljon. We're very excited for that. Expected to be March. Hopefully, we'll get that confirmation soon. And that will, no matter what, be the next ride we do here. Even if it ends up opening a little bit later, we won't be visiting again now until Voltron, Croatian themed area. And you never know, um, they might have rebuilt the log flume and the mine train by the start of next year because a lot of work's happening. So we're so excited. Next time we're here, there's going to be so many yeah, changes. I cannot wait for Voltron. Really pumped for that. I think that's the thing. We've had many years visits to this park. I've been coming for 10 years now to Europa Park. I've seen so many changes, but in my opinion, this park is definitely ready for its next major coaster. And I'm so excited for it. Um, but coming up next here on the channel, we're making our way to Tripstrill in Germany. So stay tuned for that vlog. We've got on-ride POVs, new things to see, and it's all coming up. And Europa Park, we'll see you again in 2024. That leaves with one final thing to say. Get, Get out, out there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. See you at Tripstrill.